It's an immense, immense privilege and a, a wonderful job. I think the, 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 the truth is that I'm proud of what we've been able to do in the, in the, first, in the first year. We, you know, we, I was elected on a, on a program to you know, uh, deliver Brexit, unite the country, defeat Corbyn, the famous DUD, or energize the DUDE uh, manifesto, and uh, we did that. But what we've been able to, to do is, in spite of the pandemic, to keep going with the fundamental things that we promised to the British people. So we said we were going to have 40 new hospitals, and that program is going on right now. And we will have spades in the ground by 2024. We said we were going to recruit 20,000 more police officers, and actually we're, we're up to now between uh, three and, and 4,000, and we will keep going. We said we were going to recruit 50,000 more nurses. We've already got 12,000 more nurses. 12,000 more nurses in our NHS this year than there were last year. 6,000 more doctors. This is a, a people's government absolutely determined to deliver on the, on the priorities of the, of the British people and to continue our agenda of, of uniting and levelling up across the whole country. And, and what has happened with, with the coronavirus uh, pandemic is because of the, the economic consequences of that uh, epidemic. We've got to double down on our agenda. We've got to do, and we've got to accelerate our agenda. So our investments in infrastructure, in public services are, are more urgent uh, than ever before. And I'm very pleased with some of the progress we made, but we're now in a, in a carbon neutral kind of way. We're going to be putting our foot to the, to the throttle.